Before we talk about multiplying two matrices together, let's look at a simpler form of that, multiplying a matrix by a vector. And for these, we're going to need to be very particular sizes. We're going to need an M by N matrix A and an N by 1 vector X. So the idea being that the number of columns in the matrix needs to match the number of rows in the vector. So we define matrix vector multiplication like this. A times the vector x is x1, a1, plus x2, a2, all the way up to x in an. The x's are, the x's are going to be the entries of our vector x, and the a's are the columns of my matrix a. And so this is why it's important for the number of columns in A to match the number of rows in X, because I'm essentially going to be multiplying a column of A by a row in X. So let's look at an example. So here I have a matrix with four rows and three columns and a vector with three rows. So the number of columns in my matrix does match the number of rows in my vector and I want to multiply them. So we start by multiplying the first column by the first entry of the vector. So I have negative 5 times the first row, which gives me 40, 0, negative 40, and 40. I then repeat this for the second one, so I'm going to use the second column and the second entry in my vector. Negative 8 times my second column is negative 40, 72, 40, and negative 8. Finally, I'm going to do this with the third entry in the third column. Negative 3 times my third column gives me negative 9, negative 27, 18, 12. To find my answer, I now need to look at adding these three vectors. So the first entry comes from 40, minus 40, minus 9, which gives me negative 9. My second entry comes from 0, plus 72, minus 27, which gives me 45. My third entry comes from negative 40, plus 40, plus 18 which is 18. And finally, my last entry comes from 40 minus 8 plus 12, which is 44. So I now have my answer.